Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie. I'm also known as Glitzy Gem. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you for those who are returning subscribers and for those who are new to my channel. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you. Um, please subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit the like button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when I upload another video. And in today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about self-care. So September, it is self-care awareness month. So and I do have some dark spots on my skin, which is something that I probably would have to go see a dermatologist to get that fixed or just use uh, products, you know, just facial products, you know, to be able to to get rid of that those dark spots on your skin. As I age, my dark spots just got a lot more darker. Um, I didn't have this. I didn't have these when I went. I didn't have dark. I didn't have that many dark spots. Actually, I actually didn't have any dark spots at all until I, until I hit. My, in my 40s, that's whenever I started, my my dark spots started appearing a lot more. When I was in my late 30s, early 40s, I started getting a lot of age, a lot of dark spots. And also, you know, just crow's feet under your eyes. And then um, I do I do get bags under my eyes. So what I do, I use eye patches. I do have a skincare routine that I, a skincare regimen each week. I always have to have a face mask Friday or a mask Monday. Um... I do have to have a mask routine during the week and I also have to have eye patch you know eye patch routine also for the under eyes and I also use uh, under eye cream for the eyes so <clears throat> before we get into this video I do want to let you know who is all in this club if you're new to my channel and you do not know you're not aware of who who is on this uh, club uh, we have Jennifer with Jennifer loves makeup she will not be participating in this month's uh, theme but uh, she will return for next month. Uh, we also have Leslie with Hillbilly's Creativity. She may participate in this month's collab. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I think she might. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, and then we do have Emily with Emily D. We do have Tracy with Tracy and Chloe uh, Unboxings Beauty and More. And then we have... We have Faye with Faye, Faye Blatcher, and we have myself, and I think that's all six of us. Yeah, so we have Emily D, Tracy, myself, Faye Blatcher, we have Leslie, and we have Jennifer. So that's six of us in this collab. So, um, so yeah, so I am in my 40s. Um, if I don't, I say that already. You see, I get memory lost. <laughs> if I did not say that already. Each month, we also have a, a giveaway. So... Uh, there is a secret hostess each month that um, that you know does a giveaway for our viewers who are watching and participate in the giveaway. So you do have to comment on our videos, on all our videos. You do have to comment. Um, in this month, you don't have to comment in uh, Jennifer's for sure. I'm not sure about Leslie because I'm sure she's gonna do a video for this month or not. But um, that way, you'll be entered in our um, as a semifinalist for for a winner for this month of September. And, um, and then the person who was, uh, last month's, uh, hostess will be revealing themselves this month. So stay tuned and keep watching the ladies that are, you know, going to do the videos for this month. Stay tuned and, and, uh, watch their videos. Also give them a like, you know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Comment, um, share us out if you could. So on with this video and the skincare routine. So I am in my forties. I have... Um, normal skin type and um, I do have dark spots like I mentioned you know bags under my eyes crow's feet and what else what else can go wrong with aging skin right so and I do have you know wrinkles on my forehead but there are some things that do help me with you know a lot of these issues you know problems you know I do have texture on my skin as well or like pores I have like large pores you know um, so so it's very important for me to do self-care, you know, and that's uh, skincare is part of my self-care routine. But each week I do have to do a mask, a facial mask, whether it be on a Friday or a Monday. Sometime during that week I have to do a mask. It could be a sheet mask, it could be, um, it could be just a clay mask, mud mask, any type of mask that has to do with, um, with helping your skin, that's what I'll do. And then... Um, eye patches so the eye patches that I am currently using you know on a regular basis on in each video that I do any kind of like skincare um, are these uh, bio agua peach extract hex hexapeptide eye masks um, they're clear so this is what I use for 
my under eyes just right before I go on camera when I do my mask Mondays or or my um, or face mask Fridays. So I put these on, then I take them off and I put on my mask. So this is what I do. So that's what I do. Uh, but before that, I'm putting on the mask. I do have a skincare routine for my face. I have a, a daytime routine and I have a nighttime routine. Lately, I've just been doing my nighttime routine, which consists of um, the cleanser that I'm using now that, you know, I've been getting a lot of compliments. I don't know what it is in my skincare routine. I'm thinking it's the SPF, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So, um, I don't know what it is, but I've been getting a lot of compliments lately. You know, a lot of people have been complimenting, complimenting me on my skin, you know, just natural the way it is, looks beautiful. They like the radiance, they like the glow, they like how my skin, my skin looks. Uh, they say my skin looks really good, really nice. You know, I am in my 40s. I'm, I'm going to be 45 in September. This month, actually, I'm going to be 45. So, um, I'm, you know, I, you know, I'm really like, you know, I really do like these compliments that I'm getting. And I'm like, well, thank you. I think it's my skincare routine that I'm using, you know, that's keeping me, keeping my skin looking dewy and healthy and, and, um, and nice. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I am using my Kapari. I think Kapari has been under, underrated. I think a lot of people are underestimated or not a lot of people, um, you know, give a lot of, give a lot of hype towards Kapari, but do not, do, do not, um, sleep, sleep out on Kapari products because Kapari, you know, it's really good for sensitive skin. It's really good for people who have allergies, you know, um, you know, let me tell you. Okay. So this Kapari Marine Clean Purifying Gel Cleanser, I know I've heard some mixed reviews on this one. Uh, this one I've heard it's it's like a gel type it's uh, you know and then it lathers up and then it's a cleanser for your skin so it does have a smell of like a marine almost like an algae type of scent but it's very lightly fragranced and I can tolerate it it's not it's not very pungent you know to where it's like ugh, you, you know it's like it's battering thing it just it does have that marine that kind of marine algae type of scent I'm not sure if you'll if you get the, if you get it, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it goes away, and it leaves my skin looking really good, really nice, really cleansed. Um, and um, so I do a double cleanse. So before I do my facial cleanser, I do use like a facial oil, or I can use um, what else, or just some like makeup removing wipes. You know, I use that, and then I do my cleanse. You know, I cleanse, I use my cleanser, and then I tone my skin, and lately I've been toning my, I've been toning my skin with uh, the April Skin, the Artemisia Rice Essence Toner, and my goodness, it's almost finished, and, and um, yeah, it's not almost finished, but I'm, I'm like, I got quite, quite a lot of product that I, that I used up already, and I just opened it not too long ago, so... Yeah, I've been using this as a toner. It's really good. It's like an oily based toner. It's not very watery. It doesn't like run. It's not runny or anything. So I'm using that as a toner. And then I'm also using a facial serum, which I've been using my Biro um, Bell Pepper Serum. I've been using that, you know, for my face, you know, for my serum. And I've also included an under eye serum as well. So I think that's what's been helping me with my under eyes because I've, I've noticed that my eye, my under eyes have not been that. Um, I've been seeing like my bags under my eyes and even like the little wrinkles the little or the little crow's feet are not as accentuated anymore when I use a serum. This is an eye serum. It has, um, it's a serum, you know, just like the, like this one that has a droplet, has a dropper. This one has a dropper as well. And it's a, it's a clear serum. I got this in, uh. I think in Face Tory or it was in um, one of my beauty boxes. Is the KW Eye Serum? It's a Kiwi Superfood Cooling Eye Serum. So it's for the contours of your eyes. This is applying in the morning and evening onto clean, dry skin around the eye area. So I've been using that. Just a little, just a little 
I just use a little um, little drop on my ring finger like this. And you see how you, see you have a little droplet. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up. But I have a little droplet. It's on my ring finger. I hope the camera's picking it up. I think you can see it from here. Okay, and what I do is I get my other ring finger and I, you know, rub it together and then I go under my eyes with it. I go under my eyes after putting on the facial serum, go under my eyes, let it soak, I mean, let it seep into my skin. And once I do that, then I go with my cream based product. So, my cream based products that I'm wearing um, is my, right now I'm using a moisturizer. I'm, I'm actually I was use I'm using two but um, the most the most one that I've been using is let me see here it is sorry guys <laughs> uh, is the Lactosica Barrier Cream and this does have a scent to it if you're put off by scents it's, it's not it's not a strong scent either um, if you're put off by uh, like a scent that smells like mildew. <laughs> You know, you you know, you can get put off by it, but it it goes away. The scent goes away, and it's something you put all over your face, and then under your eyes. I'm using I'm using the Capari, and I think this has also impacted a lot on my, you know, the serum, and then along along uh, with my serum, the Capari the Capari Niacinamide and Caffeine Eye Bright Cream as well so like I said don't underestimate Kapari. Kapari is a good brand. Um, it is I'm noticing the difference using that. It does have caffeine in it. Um, it says after cleansing apply a dime sized amount onto finger and gently pat around the eye area. So yes um, and so I don't know what it is but it, it's really doing good for my for my under eyes. And then once I do my um, my moisturizer I also put my sunscreen on. So the sunscreen that I'm using actually is my e.l.f. is broken now, broken by accident. It's my e.l.f. Um, Holy Hydration Face Face Cream, uh, Broad Spectrum SPF 30, uns, I mean sunscreen with hyaluronic acid and peptides. So even though I've already used, um, and this one is for dry, oily, and combination skin. And I know I have normal skin type, but you know, it, it still works for me. So. I believe this is what has been helping my skin look dewy and radiant and um, giving me you know that natural look that a lot a lot of comp a lot of the compliments that I've been receiving on my skin I've been getting that because of this I believe about the SPF because this is the last uh, the last step of my skin routine my facial skin routine I'm also using an eyelash booster which is the the Dermalect uh, Cosmic Cuticles XL Lash Volumizer. I've been using a lip scrub. Uh, not, not often. It's the Sugar Lip Scrub by Fresh. This is the one and only that I've been using for so long. It just takes so long to get rid of this lip scrub because you don't use it on a daily basis. And then I am using, uh, this one has lasted me forever, is my Agave Nighttime Lip Therapy. It's a nighttime, nighttime lip therapy. So I put it on, you know, you know in the evening. So I think this is what's been helping me with my lips, not getting um, really crusted or getting those, um, you know, getting that dry skin just because of the weather or whatever the, the case may be. That is my, my facial skincare routine, what I do in the evening. So now going forward with what else I do for self-care. Um, I also use, um, of course, um, I do have sensitive skin, and then I I have had some bad experiences with some um, deodorants. So a deodorant that I found that online that I found I felt that it was like a lifesaver to me, a, li a lifesaver, lip game changer, whatever you want to call it, uh, is my Kapari coconut deodorant. This one here, uh, it does really good, you know, for for the underarms whenever um, and this is, has a coconut scent is very mildly scented so it's good for sensitive skin as well I'm telling you Kapari do not underestimate Kapari or overlook it so it's really good 
um because no other daughter was able to help me but that one yeah so and then going on with my body um like body care you know body care you know i use the dove soap it's a moisturizing bar and it does really good for my skin as well um it's the only one that doesn't break me out so that's the only reason why i get it and the only thing i can say about this it's not a good exfoliant it doesn't get rid of a lot of your dead skin cells i mean it does but it doesn't like you know you know you're i'm left with dead skin cell dead skin cells like around my ankles and i'm having just to rub with the towel just rub it off so that's the only thing that i have with dove is that it's it doesn't like it's not a it's not a very good exfoliant you know so apart from my dove i do use my kapari uh, ultra restore body butter with hyaluronic acid uh, i got this in one of my tread mood boxes i don't know if you ever bought you know the tread mood uh, in the volume where it had the kapari uh oh my gosh a little goes a long way you do not want to oh you do, you do not want to gauss or what do you say you do not want to use too much of this product you don't you don't want to just grab so much of this product and put it all over your body no you want to grab little bits by bits and let it just you know seep into your skin because it is very hydrating it's very thick it's thick like butter that's why it's called body butter it's very thick like butter so i use it on my legs you know um so that my legs won't because i do have a, you know i don't wear shorts so i wear lots of pants so when i do wear shorts you know my legs tend to look a little dry so i put some of that body butter and it really helps with my dry skin on my legs and i don't have to use a lot yeah i don't have to use a lot um i thought i had to use i was like i'm gonna have to use a lot of this because my legs are really dry but no no i didn't have to so that's what i use for my for um for dry skin you know dry skin you know uh for my legs really i really don't use it all over my body i just use it for my legs but i'm pretty sure it, it will work really good for the body as well now um moving on with my hair i do have a hair routine where it consists of a shampoo conditioner a hair mask and that's what it, my hair care <laughs> you know it's, oh and then there's also a leave-in conditioner after my hair mask and that's my that's my routine my, that's my hair care routine um the shampoo that i'm actually using right now is a shampoo bar actually i got this in one of my walmart beauty boxes um who would have thought that um anybody who got this in their box who has a walmart beauty box were, were to use it who, who would have thought to use it i used it because i wanted to you know i like to review products so uh so far so good i really do like the way the shampoo bar look how look how little it's gotten <laughs> but it is wonderful it it, it it is um it lathers really good it feels like um it doesn't feel like 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 soap it doesn't feel like soap you know whenever i don't know if you ever washed your hair with regular soap before but i have you know before i've uh, you know when i was younger i used to you know i had used bar bar soap for my hair you know to to, wa to wash my hair but um the shampoo bar i thought it was going to be that way where you know it you know the the bar soaps the body bar soaps kind of leave your hair feeling little feeling dry and it really like gave me more knot knots in my hair kind of if my my hair feeling very very um very coarse i i should say i don't know how to explain it but so when i tried this one the the garnier is the, this is the garnier whole blend shampoo bar and it's the honey treasures for dry damaged hair oh my goodness so this one really really did really good for my hair it, i really do like doing my hair looks uh yeah and then i follow it by you know the conditioner which is my dove this is my tried and true uh dove derma care scalp the dryness and itch relief flake free no visible flakes with regular use and less frizzy hair hypoallergenic fragrance hypoallergenic fragrance anti-dandruff conditioner so this has really helped me a lot with my hair um i'm getting grays that are growing in now and they you know they feel they uh, they make my hair itch and so when i discovered this dove because no other shampoo that i had tried was helping with with that problem you know where 
my hair, I was keep, I kept getting dandruff and dandruff and dandruff and they, it would never go away. So I started using the Dove. I use the Dove shampoo and the Dove conditioner, but this time I'm just using the, um, the, uh, I'm using a different shampoo because I'm reviewing it and so far so good. Um, uh, then I follow it by a leave-in conditioner and this has been really good. The perfect repair leave-in leave -in treatment is actually, I use a conditioner or leave-in treatment uh, this will have, uh, you know, it has color safe. If you dye your hair, it's color safe. It's by Nature Lab, Tokyo. Oh, it's Tokyo. So it's a, it's a, oh, well, Tokyo, that's a, that's a different country than Korea, I believe. Yeah. So, but yeah, this is, you know, Asian, I guess I should say Asian beauty. And I like me some Asian beauty, you know, Korean beauty. Tokyo, Japan, you know, I love, I, I love their skincare. I think they're well known for their skincare, you know, their face masks and really taking care of their skin, um, making sure, you know, it, they, you know, they also have lots of good products for scars. You have scarring, you know, but, um, I think they kind of like, they're more ex, I think the, I think they have more expertise or that's their forte, you know, in those countries when it comes to hair, when it comes to skin when it comes to taking care of the skin i think they're the top notch you know even though uh kapari is not you know made in in korea it's actually here in the is in california so kapari and i'm not sure if they have different uh distributors or anything like that but i, I think kapari is a u.s um brand but yeah, Kapari is a really good brand. So is the Elf. The Elf is really good uh, for the SPF. I'm not gonna knock that down. I'm not gonna knock it. You know, it, it it has been really doing really good for my skin. And then I'm using my Wander Beauty Double Blocked um, Pure and no, I'm sorry, Cream and Conditioner. So on one side you have the lip balm, which I haven't really used too much of. Because what I do, I already have, you know, I already use lip treatments in the evening and then I use a lip treatment, you know, when I do videos and someday I will use this balm. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this balm shortly. Um, and then I've already used up the side where it has a cream based balm. So I've already used up a lot of the products, so I'm really just like, the, right now is more like I'm using my fingers to get, you know, some of the product, you know, onto my lips, but I've been using this to keep my lips conditioned and soft, and what else? Um, I think that is everything on the most part of my self-care routine. I forgot to mention my tried and true toothpaste. So the toothpaste that I, that I do use is my Colgate Total. I do have floss, but I use any kind of floss. I can use the generic brand or I can use the, um, you know, you know, the name brand floss. So I do use floss. So that's one thing that we need to do more often is floss. And um, so I'm, I'm using my tried and true Colgate Total, uh, the Colgate Total, this one, this one in particular, because I have several kinds. But this one in particular, the one that's the whitening 24-hour, uh, I don't know, this one here in particular, you know, and the white and red packaging, <clears throat> the, that says total and it says whitening. This is the only kind that I would use, the only kind that, you know, leaves my, my, my teeth looking more whiter than other toothpaste. So that is my tried and true, and I just don't stray away from my Colgate. I don't, I don't use Crest. I used to, but I, I, you know, just discovered Colgate Total, and I kept using it, and it just helped. It helped, you know, you know, with my my teeth whitening. You know, it started making my teeth look whiter and brighter. I was like, hmm, okay, so I just gave it a go. But that is really how I stumble up across, stumble up upon, you know, a lot of my self care, skin care, and self care root uh, products that I use. I stumble up, I stumble up across them, and I try them. And once you try them and you find one that that really works for you, that fits for you, it works for you and it fits, you know, you don't want to, you know, get rid of, you don't want to 
stop using it. You want to keep using the same product, you know, and then, you know, just, it's, it's like a trial and error. You just have to find the right one. You have to find the right skincare, um, self-care products for you, for your body type, for your uh, skin type. In other words, your body type, what I meant is like, you know, if your body is dry, if you have like dry skin, you know, um, according to your, you know, your skin type, and according to your hair type and I hey I'm not I'm not a um an esthetician here or I'm not a you know <laughs> you know like a I'm not an esthet I'm not an esthetician here or a dermatologist or anything like that but anything that you try and uh you really it really has worked for you don't stray away from it. Don't stray from using it. Just keep using that. Um, if you do want to try other products, feel free to try other products, you know, because like you're still trying to find the right one. If you notice any difference, you know, from one product to another, because you will notice differences from one product to the other, from one product to the next, I'm sorry, and that you will find your product. So that's what I have to talk to you and share with you on, on self-care awareness for the month of September. I know I'll probably chewed all, chew your ear off with skincare, but this is what this theme is, this skin a skincare awareness. So thank you for joining me here today and taking some time every day to watch my video. And don't forget to check out my beautiful ladies in the Sassy Divas collab and watch them and uh, find out who is uh, who was last month's um, hostess, you know, who did the giveaway and then who the winner is. And let's congratulate the winner whenever, they, whenever they're announced. All right, so I'll see you in my next video, guys. I love you all. Bye. Take care of yourselves. Self-care. Self-care Sunday. Take care of yourselves. If not you, then who? Right? Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button and hit the notification bell. Bye, guys.